welcome back to the channel. Remember, I talk about mix and mix creation team. What do we have to talk about? It's what you call the higher visa. Most of you have come to these Gulf countries, or most of you come into these Gulf countries. Yes, you had what you call the validity of what you call the higher visa in Qatar that is being extended until January uh, 2024. What are we talking about? In this period, we are looking at another big uh, 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 exhibition that will be in Doha, what we call in Qatar, and that is what we call the Expo 2023. It is going to be extended for a longer period of time until uh, January 2024 of 20, uh, that time. So, but what is happening right now is that most of the people who are looking for jobs, who are desperate, who are looking for employment. I know it may not be good out there that we are, it may not be out there in the countries, but it's, again, you need to be a little bit very cautious, you need to be a little bit very vigilant as you're trying to look for this. Because remember, most recruiting agencies that are being, most recruitment agencies that are in your countries or are in those countries that you are coming from, they are using this opportunity. Something that I need to remind you is about what you call the higher visa. For those people that watch what you call the FIFA World Cup, you know the benefits of the higher visa. I can invite a family member, I can invite someone, I can invite someone to come and be in the country on my, 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 my higher card portal as part of what you call the requirements by the government. A few of the requirements have to be fulfilled and come, I'll let you come into the country. But something that I need to let you know still is that the higher visa, what you call the higher visa being invited into the country with what someone who has a higher card, is not going to be converted to a work visa. I think most people are being stripped off. People are being lied by the recruitment agencies. People are being scammed off a lot of money. And they are brought into, or the, you come into the country, you come into Qatar, and you hopefully, you're going, you, you have a lot of uh, expectations that you are going to change that higher visa into a work visa. It's going to be quite a little bit very hard. That's what I have to let you know. Because apparently something I need also to let you know is that you see the, a lot of uh, the jobs hiring from out is a little bit down. The percent one definitely get grumbling, try to look at the percentage itself is definitely very down. So you need to be a little bit very careful. But something you need also to let you know, that the person who is scraping you a lot of money to give you what you call a high visa to come into the country, because when he brings you into the country and he brings you into Qatar, his job is done. He does not want to know about the rest. If you find someone, he will host you for one month. The rest of the things will be like, you need to pay up this, we need to share up this, we need to share up this, and some of them will end up switching off the phone and they have to leave you in what you call a job idea and leave you in the kind of trouble that you will not be able to solve yourself. So just know as you are coming, if you are planning to have someone taking you on what you call a higher visa, definitely. Uh, something that I need to let you know, that is what you call a tourism visa. It is not a work visa and cannot be converted to a work visa. Then something, uh, probably, I normally tell people, when you are given a visa, because there are a lot of people that are scraping out, they can deal with companies here to give you the visa, but they do not have the jobs. They actually do not have the jobs. A visa is not very hard to get here if a company is applying for you. If someone is here and is really mandated to apply for the visa, they will get to the visa. But the genuine companies that are there that are going to give you the job or when they give you that visa, they are now also a little bit very few. So you need to be very careful as you're worrying, as you're coming to the country, as you're trying to kind of deal in one or the other, which partially is going to protect you and protect your finances or protect the savings, the little savings that you have at a glance or at a time. So you need to be a little bit very careful in one way. And something I have to stress it, a higher visa, when you come into a higher visa, it is a tourism visa, it cannot be converted to a work visa. You need to exit, get a fresh visa, then you can return into the country. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much. Remember, it's Max. By the way, don't forget to share, subscribe, and don't forget to support. It's Max from the Max Creation Team.